Hey folks, I'm out metal detecting today. It's a nice overcast, somewhat coolish day. I think it's going to get up into the mid 80s, but of course the wind's always blowing down here in this field. Uh, back at the same place as the last two episodes, I think. Uh, still have not even come close to covering anywhere close to the majority of this field. Uh, in another little iron patch here today, working this little site. Uh, I think I'm on my fourth hole, dug a piece of lead, a uh, piece of pewter, been picking up some uh, pottery pieces, you know, glassware, things like that. And I just popped a uh, 1718, already popped it out of the hole. It's going to be a nice little flat button. It's got a design on it. Never seen that little design. Little compass point looking thing. Compass rose. So that's cool. I like that. That's, uh, you know, mid to late 1800s, I'm assuming. We'll get it cleaned up a little better, but that's a good start for the day. Hoping to get back on some more silver. Would love to pull some old coppers out of here. Probably some here. Or who knows, maybe stumble upon that long-awaited gold coin. So who knows what the day holds. Let's find out. All right, well, I just popped that button, the uh, the flat button with the little design, just, I don't know, three or four minutes ago. Had a 16, 17, jumped up to an 18 signal. There's the hole. And look what popped out. That's a 54 caliber sharps, I believe. Yeah, look at that. Yeah. Awesome, awesome, awesome. That's what I'm after down in here. Of course, I've already talked about the troop movement through here. I found several other smaller caliber Civil War bullets here. That's the first sharps out of this field. We'll take that. All right, let's get some, get some more of this kind of stuff. A deep 14 15 signal popped it gonna be about a 40 caliber musket ball see the little sprue on it there yeah so we're in a good spot right here we're gonna hit this area pretty hard hopefully we can come across a button or two that'd be nice so I just popped that musket ball and the sharps right there and there, so I'm probably three yards from there. Had a 1617 signal here. I got myself a three ringer. It's mangled, it's been hit by a plow recently. I didn't do that, uh, but yeah, I don't know if that's. I'm guessing that's fired and not all plow related. That's what that is, Civil War three ringer. So definitely in a good spot. Loving it. Love digging Civil War history. Let's snag us a button. All right, well, I think I've got something pretty cool here. Uh, pretty close to where I've been digging the last few buttons. Just kind of making some lines here, following the rows out in the field. And I just popped a button. You see it down in there? It's going to be a coat size. I took a peek at it. And if it is what I think it is, it's going to be my very first one for sure. You see it? Look at this. Got you on a tripod here. Hopefully it's going to... Guys, I think this is a Confederate South Carolina button. And I cannot tell if that's clear or not. Look at this. That's exactly what this is. Wow. And it is in great shape. Look at this. Let me just get my toothbrush here.
it's drying out. I'm not gonna hit it hard in case there's some. Wow. Well, I was gonna say in case there's some gold left on it. Look at this. That's what it is. Wow, that's my second Confederate button out of the site. The first was the Confederate Louisiana Pelican button. And then this, South Carolina. Oh my goodness. And it is in almost perfect condition. I'm not going to clean on it anymore right now. see that maybe is that better I just can't tell the sun is so bright I hope you're seeing that that is amazing absolutely amazing wow 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 this is why I love this hobby guys you just never know what you're going to pull out. Of course, it's all about location, but my goodness. Outstanding. All right, I'll have it cleaned up for you in the wrap-up. Man, that's just exciting. All right, well, let's, uh, let's see what else is here. All right, well, it is a new day. Uh, it's a very wet and muddy day. It's been several days since I've been back out here. You can see my truck over there in the shadows. Just got here. Um, this will probably be the last time I hit this field this season. Soybeans are starting to come up. The farmer said I could swing until, uh, you know, the, the plants get too high for my detector to work. But, I, you know, I want to take care of the, uh, the plants here. Don't want to trample on them and stuff. So this probably is going to be the last time I'm out here for a few days, or I guess until next next uh next season when they harvest so try to make the most of it out here pretty early today it's going to be a beautiful day uh kind of just making a line from my truck we're going to go all the way over there uh somewhere right in there i know there's a iron patch i want to get to um just dug a rivet right there you can see that hole i'm down here in this hole i've already popped it it's going to be a little roller buckle and I know that uh, some of these little roller buckles are Civil War era. Uh, the roller still actually rolls a little bit. But I've dug these before, um, and I've ID'd them to be Confederate roller buckles. You can't know for sure. Um, at least I don't think you can. But there, there's a good likelihood that that's probably Civil War. So, yeah. Starting on a good note, I'm going to make the most of the day here. Like I said, it's going to be a pretty day. It's just very muddy. Had to keep the truck in four-wheel drive getting it down here again. So, wind's not blowing. That's a plus. Let's see what else we can find. All right, well, I've made my way over to this iron patch. I was uh, heading far. My truck is way over there. That's where I started. Kind of did a zigzag line. Uh working my way over here, but I'm over here now, and like I usually do, just start kind of doing some back and forth rows here, uh, but this was kind of just laying here on the surface, I just kicked it, and that's an, uh, that's an old barrel tap, you can see that, found many of these before, would have stuck in the side of a barrel, cask or something, so that's a good indicator of this little area here. Let's, uh, let's get on some good stuff. Had another little surface find I just want to show you guys. This is always a good indication that you're on a good spot. It's an old porcelain doll piece leg. This one's actually complete. It's not broken. So that tells me I'm in a good little area here. This is late 1800s probably. We'll take that, add it to the pouch, and let's keep going. If I could keep my hands on it. 
Had a real scratchy 14, jumped up to 17, kind of an iffy signal. But when you're in a site like this, you really just need to dig, uh, to dig it all. And so I did, and I have, I have been rewarded with a nice little skeleton key. Look at this. It's missing the top part here. Those are always cool to find. A little bit bent, but definitely right time frame. Very cool find. Love these old relics. All right, I think I've got something. Uh, I think I've got something good here. We'll see. Uh, very iffy signal once again. Let's see if I can get you set up on the tripod here. Uh, 14 jumped up to like a 18, 19. Uh, you see anything down in here? The sun's pretty bright. Look right here. It's going to be a button. It's going to be a coat size. I think I already see an eagle on it. Oh, yeah. You see the eagle with the shield in the middle? Let's see if I can get this a little better. You see that? Missing the shank. Two piece. Let me uh, work on it for a second and I'll be right back. All right, I got it cleaned up a little bit. Look at that. Beautiful eagle eye infantry. Two-piece coat button. Shadows are playing with me. Look at that. Beautiful button. It's got like this weird patina on it. I'm not sure what that is. I'll work on it some more when I get home, but... Amazing piece of Civil War history right there. Always love finding them. Awesome. Well, that was a deep signal. Glad I stuck with it. It's an old brooch, looks like. I don't think it's a buckle. It's pretty thin. Maybe a buckle, I'm not sure. Sash buckle. Got a little weird thing there, I'm not sure. I think it's a sash buckle. This would have went all the way across and attached right here if it weren't bent, I think. And this would have been in the middle. So that's cool. That's an older piece. Take that. All right, let's try another live dig here. 1920. I'm thinking half dime. I'm calling half time right now. Let's see what we got. Probably another rivet because I've dug several rivets, but that was a pretty, pretty, uh, Steady 1920. Let's see if I got it out of there. 19 dead in this plug. Let's see if we see anything. Hmm. All right. Let's get the pin pointer. Right here. Right here. What is that? What is it? Oh no, is it a silver? What is it? Is it gonna be a Indian? It's an Indian. <laughs> oh, that was ringing up kind of high for an Indian. Well, yeah, that's the first coin on the day, 18. What's it gonna be? Indian head scent. Hmm. 
was drying up fast. Eighteen. Hmm. I should be able to get that date off there. Let me get a toothpick on it. Let me get a toothpick on it and I'll be right back. All right, it's 1892. You can see that, maybe. Should be able to clean that up a little better. 1892 Indian Head Scent. All right, well, that's a... Uh, that's a good coin. That's a good time frame. I really thought a little too high for an Indian, but I'm not going to complain. We'll take that for sure. All right, let's get us a silver now. I got something uh, kind of cool, I think. You see it? It's going to be a big brass ring. It's got some design on it. Yep, some kind of little design. Hmm, that's a little big for an old wedding band, but you never know. Well, if I can get the dirt out of there. Yeah, you can kind of see it there. That's cool. I don't think I've ever found a brass ring that size. If I have, I don't think it had design on it. I like that. All right, well, maybe we're on a little hot spot here. Let's find out. All right, well, I've got what I'm looking for, I think. Uh, like I said, I think this may be a little hot spot. Here I am way over, still in that little iron patch on the edge of it, at least, um, where I started out this morning. And look right here. See the worm? Just next to the worm, it's not gonna focus. All right, let me back out, let me pick it up. And we'll set this down. I got the tripod set up here. Let's get that worm out of the way. Sorry, if I can get it in there. All right, you see it? See that silver reeded edge? What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? a half dime it is a half dime it was ringing up high for a half dime no it's not a half dime it's a barber why is it looking so big 1892 barber wow look at the shape this thing is in why is it looking so small well I'm an idiot I guess Wow, this thing is in great condition. Put some spray on it. Wow, wow, wow. This thing was dropped in 1892. Don't see a mint mark. Wow. This may be the best barber dime I have ever dug. Why was I thinking that was a half dime size? It looks so small in my hand. All right, let me dry it. Dry my hand anyway. Put it right here. Look at the detail. <laughs> Some bugs here. I don't see any blemish. Maybe one little nick right there. But that is a beautiful little coin. Wow. 
I'm hoping that's showing up okay. Outstanding. Well, it's not quite as old as I thought it was going to be. 1892, that's what the, uh, the Indian head was. All right. On the board with silver. In a little hot spot. Let's stay a little longer. All right, well, I think I'm going to call it a day. Uh, i got to get back to the house and do a few things. Oh, there's still daylight. Uh, I may make it back out here one more time. Maybe tomorrow. I think the weather's supposed to be decent tomorrow afternoon after church. Uh, but if not, already looking forward to being back at this place uh, at the end of the, uh, the growing season. But I think I found two more spots I want to hit pretty hard. Um, glad I was able to get on the site that I did today, a little spot. So I think there were, uh, the one old map I have of this place only indicates a few, I think three, maybe four old home sites. I think there were more than that. Uh, whether they were before the map or after, I can't really tell, uh, but I'm getting a feel for the layout of how things were here before. And that's always fun. Um, just to try to figure it out and you know know where the little spots are at to go and maybe even imagine some walkways and pathways between the old houses which you know they they were there most likely so we'll call it a day for now we'll do the wrap up here in just a moment welcome back to the truck um but yeah great great day uh glad to have the chance to be out here one more time All right, well, here's the board. Let's run through the wrap up, see what we got here. Uh, start over here with my miscellaneous pieces of brass, uh, some lantern pieces, lock plate cover. Got some initials there on it. I didn't look it up. Got some old spent casings, a very old, uh, uh, a very large, I should say, washer, handmade washer. I thought that was going to be a uh, silver dollar or something. Uh, the parasol piece, there's the, um, well, that's another button that I, I think that was from a different hunt, actually. Uh, the barrel tap, uh, picked up a harmonica reed. I don't think I got this on video. Look at this old knife, pocket knife, inlaid with oyster shell. That's pretty cool. Never found one quite like that. Might try to throw that into the electrolysis tank to get that cleaned up a little more. See what it see what it looks like. Some more pieces of pocket knives. Of course, I always pick up some pottery that stands out to me. A uh, little porcelain doll leg. Uh, skeleton key. You saw that. Got the little suspender clip. Um, I forgot what those what those are as far as the manufacturer. The you can read it on there. I just I forgot what it was. There's the little uh, roller buckle. I'm going to call that Civil War. Found those before. The sash buckle, uh, keyhole plate. Uh, I'm not sure about this. Maybe a watch or a clock piece. I'm not real sure. Uh, and then we'll move to the, the middle pieces here. We've got two birdcage flat buttons. I don't think I got either one of those in the video. Those are little birdcage buttons. You can see that. Uh, got the flat button with the compass rose on it. Cleaned that up. I like that little button there. Uh, there's the brass ring. You can see the design on that. Cleaned it up a little bit and kind of shaped it back into the right, right shape. Cool little piece. Uh, got one wheat scent. Uh, there's the bullets. The 54 sharps. Uh, the 58 caliber three ringer. Definitely been hit by a plow a few times. Got a few little muskety balls. This is actually a piece of uh, silver thimble. I don't even think I got that on video. Uh, but definitely a piece of one. Uh, and then the four uh, finds of the day, I guess we should say. The Indian definitely cleaned up. Look at this. So these two coins were very near to each other. Both 1892. Both in great condition. So definitely a uh, spill, I think, you know, from drop from the same person, but 
Let me see if I can zoom in. You can actually see Liberty on the uh, the headband. Uh, it's not coming in, but it's a really good looking uh, Indian head scent. One of the better ones I've found. They always get that little bit of chipping around the edge, as careful as I was cleaning it. But that's an 1892 and an 1892 Barber Dime. This thing is just in unbelievable condition. Definitely very fine details, if not a little better. Philadelphia Mint without the mint mark there. So that's a uh, that's a good, nice little coin in my book. Uh, this, the, uh, the Eagle Eye cleaned up really well. No shank on the back. But I like the patina it has. Always love finding the eagle, the shield eagle buttons. So that's a Union Eagle Eye. And then a Confederate find of the day. Uh, one of the better finds I've found in recent hunts. Uh, Relic-wise, anyway. This thing is just in great condition. South Carolina uh, Confederate Civil War button. Really like this. So, all right. I think that's going to do it for now. Uh, appreciate you guys following along as always. So, until next time, that'll do it. <laughs>